my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Welcome to First Out Visions. My name is Q and I am here to do your general reading. We're going to take a little peek at peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the beautiful Leo collective energy. I will, you beautiful souls are feeling amazing, feeling grounded, my body and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I give love and light to each and every one of you that may be returning. Welcome to anyone that is new here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to use the Moonology card in Ode to the Scorpio full moon that we are in right now. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have your hard work is paying off. And it says new moon in Capricorn. So some of you all they have Capricorn in your chart, which we all have every sign pretty much in our chart, but you also could be dealing with a Capricorn. So your hard work is paying off. So something that you have been working on, I'm feeling very tediously, very diligently, uh, spirit is going to reward you. Um, I feel like it's something that you love, something you enjoy. Uh, right now we have Cut Close, and the name of the song is called I Like. And it is, it is uh, 5, 14 on the clock, which reduces to 10, because 5 plus 5 is 10. So I feel like there's something um, that's coming full circle. Uh, with Cut Close, I feel like it was a very close call uh, where some of you all you know, may have thought like you missed some sort of opportunity, but I feel like it's going to turn out better than you anticipated or it's actually going to work out in your favor, whatever this may be. Um, I feel like there was, uh, there's an air or a sense of competitiveness. Maybe there's some folks that are gunning for the same thing you're gunning for, be it a career path or be it uh, some sort of... Um, you know, some sort of field of study. It's like there's there's competition. There's other competitors there. But I feel like you keep your eyes on the prize, and you will uh, you will it, it will turn out in your favor. And that's something that you may have done because it's as if like you know you just kept your 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 um, kept yourself focused on the task at hand, and you didn't allow yourself to get distracted. And I feel like that's why things are now working out in your favor. That's why you're feeling some form of uh, perhaps satisfaction or there is some sort of positive outcome. Um, so let's tap in. And we know five and five, that's 10, that's an end, but every ending denotes a new beginning. Everybody is pretty much getting that message in their readings. I'm using different uh, tarot cards, oracle decks uh, for different signs and transformation just keeps on coming up. Um, rebirth, renewals keeps on coming up, keeps on being echoed throughout each of the astrological signs that I'm doing today. So we have in the split, a win-win outcome is forecast and we have your hard work is paying off. So that's a confirmation. Um, that's confirmation. That's definitely affirmation. So spirit is affirming that something that you've done, Leo, um, is absolutely working out in your favor. I feel like, you know, the, this is, is bringing some sort of balance. Uh, this is also speaking to luck being on your side. I feel like whatever you uh, have been pursuing, like I said, you've been really keeping your eyes on the prize, not really getting distracted. So I feel like you were very just in the way that you uh, navigated a certain situation um, and you remain grounded and you focused on the task at hand and not so much on being in a competition with other people. Um, Leo, Leo's a very strong uh, minded, very strong willed, very determined. Uh, very attractive signs. So you could have a lot of people, um, you know, that find you very attractive at this time. Uh, like I said, if you are pursuing some sort of career path or maybe you're embarking on something, it's like you already have this air um, of, 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 of attractiveness or confidence and you're making believers out of other people. Um, perhaps this is in relation to love. Because we have Ryan Leslie, you could be dealing with someone named Ryan Leslie, first, middle, and last name. And this is called If It Isn't Love. Um, or if it's, I'm sorry, if it, uh, is it real love? Pardon me. I'm thinking a new edition, but is it real love? So perhaps there is some doubt in you about someone that could be pursuing you. Uh, but Spirit is saying there's a win-win situation. So maybe there's someone that's going to balance the scales with you, bring 
you know, bring some balance into your life or someone is that's going to harmonize, uh, you know, your energy. So that's beautiful. So let's tap into an in spirit. Let's get a message from my beautiful, beautiful Leos. See what's coming going on, going on with my beautiful Leo spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful Leos? Get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beautiful Leos. So we have a card that just flew out and we're going to see what that is. So this is your overall energy. It says conclusions are within reach. So there we go. There's that new beginning. Like I said, things are wrapping up. This is a cycle of completions. Uh, we have Pluto, which is in re uh, retrograde, uh, which is Scorpio's ruling planet. And Scorpio right now is, uh, we have a full moon in Scorpio. So spirit is literally saying that things are being purged. Uh, the truth is coming out, whatever no longer serves you or, or your highest good, it is being uh, eclipsed. And look at that full moon eclipse, which is what we're dealing with right now, because we have the Aries lunar eclipse and it's still, um, you know, and we're in Scorpio's um, full moon energy. So this is really uh, very, very telling of what we're experiencing as above, so below, as within, so without. So there's going to be a lot of um, internal uh, emotions, feelings, maybe things that were lying dormant uh, within you is going to start bubbling to the surface. It's going to start. Uh, it's going to start erupting within you, uh, imploding. You know, and so there's going to be some sort of final uh, solution or something that's going to be resolved. I feel uh, within you, whether you come to some sort of grand epiphany about yourself, about your pursuit in a certain endeavor or a person uh, i do feel like spirit is wrapping this cycle up because this is a time of change this is a time of of transforming um and this is also you know a time of of starting something new what we have is meditate and contemplate and we're about to pull the card for what you're attracting or who you're attracting and so i feel like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition um, don't just dive in, like really trust your intuition, especially with this full moon. You know, the moon is a very um, intuitive energy. It deals with water energy and water signs are naturally very psychic, very intuitive. So I feel like spirit is telling you um, to also trust what bubbles up, trust, you know, whatever starts coming to surface. Uh, it's really about, you know, taking a deep dive um, and an internal check, a self check uh, to really make the right decision moving forward uh this is about getting rid of what no longer serves you uh because you know that eclipse energy is really about you know the death it's about uh getting rid of perhaps old ideologies belief systems people places things behaviors habits um whatever is faulty whatever no longer serves you and uh with these fishes that gives me you know because that's piscean um energy and so that's why I'm getting the intuition. So just trust what you're feeling uh, as well. You could be dealing with a Pisces. It could be a Pisces of significance or a water sign in general. Um, but definitely, maybe some of you all like to go to a particular pond, river, lake, and you like to fish. Uh, maybe that's like, you know, your happy place. Maybe that's something that you all do um, just to kind of ground yourself or just to center yourself or to... Um, just kind of be one with with nature be one with yourself is maybe you like to fish you know and this is how you like i said come to uh maybe a deeper more profound understanding of whatever you may be facing at that time or whatever it is you're dealing with at that time um we have a uh, force of nature and the name of this song is called let me show you i like to show and prove so force of nature, it's taken 50 years to roll on through. And it's 522, which is uh, nine. Nine is the highest number of change. So there's definitely something changing, especially with conclusions are within reach. It's almost as if spirit is forcing this. And it says, just forget. So force of nature. So spirit, um, with force of nature, I feel like spirit is the one conspiring behind the scene to bring about some sort of change because it is 522 on the clock and nine is the highest number of change that's also associated with the hermit so a lot of you could have been in solitude just 
you know, kind of protecting your peace, kind of like doing some introspective work, reflecting, taking internal self audits, looking back in awareness. And now with that fresh perspective or that uh, epiphany that you may have received, you've discovered, you know, what your passions are, what your dreams are, what you hope for, what you desire. And you're going after that with an intensity. Um, and that's why, you know, meditate and contemplate, because that is a real, you know, that's an energy of, you know, you're looking back in awareness, as I said, you know, um, and anticipating some sort of new uh, direction. So let's tap in. So what is uh, our beautiful Leos? Who or what is beautiful Leos attracting to them? We get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beautiful Leo spirit. What messages do you have from my beautiful Leos? What's, oh, wow. So that flew out. And we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yet another Piscean card. So some of you all are definitely dealing with a Pisces. Um, or maybe you have Pisces in your chart. But this is really uh, speaking to uh, the need to find balance, the need to um, really be sound, you know, when you make a decision. Uh, so meditating is very necessary. Uh, going by that body of water uh, to purge, to release, to gain a different perspective, trusting your intuition. If you're receiving a lot of dreams during this time, um, Leo's. Uh, it may behoove you to keep a dream journal just so that you can, you know, look at it later and perhaps do some research to find out the spiritual meanings of whatever showed up in your dreams. Uh, but I do feel strongly like um, there's a need to find balance. Whatever you're attracting to you, it's going to bring about balance. Or maybe this is spirit telling you it's time to find that balance, to balance both the spiritual and the practicality. Uh, so using logic, head and heart, finding that alignment. We have a new start is coming. So you do have some fresh start. This is beautiful because with a conclusion, um, that means that something's wrapping up. Something is, is, is uh, being um, you know, completed here. And every ending denotes a new beginning. So it's like now there's this fresh perspective. Uh, it's like you've evolved. It's a new moon. So this me this is really like perhaps this is a new endeavor, something that you really uh, may have manifested. And we have Stephanie Mills here, and this is called what uh, what you're going to do with my loving. And uh, it shows 1979 and 1979 reduces to eight. So with that eight, this could be a wish fulfillment with a new start is coming. Some of you all have manifested something new. Um, that also speaks to karma. So whatever you've done in the past, whatever seed you've sowed, um, it's, it's now bringing some abundance into your life. I feel like it's bringing, uh, like I said, emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment, financial fulfillment. Uh, but there's something beautiful coming. Uh, perhaps, you know, because you find that balance, you may find your groove. Uh, so you know how to perhaps manifest something. Uh, with what you're going to do with my loving, I do feel like... Uh, with this fresh, you know, a new start is coming. Maybe there is an opportunity for some of you all uh, to rekindle a love ship, a connection. And this time around, someone is, uh, you know, going to show you what they're going to do with your loving. Because maybe that's a question you will pose. Like, what you going to do with me now? Like, you know, if they're returning perhaps from your past, maybe someone is wrapping up a cycle in order to have a fresh start with you, Leo, you know. Or maybe this is just you having a fresh start, period, you know, with yourself. You wrapping up something that just doesn't resonate with you and now starting over. And this time around, you're going to be very honest, transparent uh, with those coming in or whatever uh, you're doing. Whatever it is that you enjoy, whatever it is you like, whatever it is you love, you're going to be very transparent with yourself. So, and, and that's what brings the, the, the balance. Uh, that's what brings that spiritual uh, and um, practical uh, balance and equilibrium. So that's beautiful. So how does this person or this thing feel about our beloved Leo? And we've got a message that flew out yet again. And then we have on the bottom of the deck, communication is key. So someone is definitely coming to communicate. Whenever I see this dual energy, that also is just echoing the balance that's necessary. But with this dual energy, that does speak to perhaps someone um, that could be like a twin flame, someone that could be perhaps like, because um, I'm getting like the lovers, you know, when you think of the six, the lovers, I think of, um, you know, that yin yang energy 
uh, you know, of, of divine feminine, divine masculine coming into union. So perhaps this is like a conversation, as I said, where someone is going to be very honest, like, what you going to do with my love? Like, what are you going to do with me? Like, what do you want from me? What do you, you know, what are your, what are your plans? You know, like somebody's going to really, um, you know, really test someone to see like what their response is going to be. What we have is work through your fears here. And it's a uh, new moon in Scorpio. So right now we are in a full moon in Scorpio and you're being told to work through your fears. Someone feels that that's what you're doing. Um, they also get a sense of you being very protected and very like, you know, maybe you have, um, you know, like you are very intense, perhaps um, very protective, even uh, like you, you, your stinger is, is like it's it's vicious uh so maybe this is someone who is a little intimidated with you because they do see you know have this vision of a new star but it's like how they feel about you is a little afraid um leo so you know maybe there's you know because you do have an air of confidence and you are very attractive uh so there could be someone a little intimidated um and maybe you are someone that they may have a little bit of fear uh you know approaching um because they may feel that you're guarded. They may feel that you're protective. They may feel that you have boundaries. Um, Scorpios are very intuitive. So that maybe they feel that you are also a little psychic as well. With communication is key. This could be something that is, you know, they, they're ruminating, pining, and creating their own narratives. And that's why Spirit is saying, look, communication is key. When you communicate is the only way uh, that you can receive clarity or some sort of truth. Um, we have Lauren Hill, and this is when it hurts so bad. Uh, so someone is suffering in silence, I feel. And that's why, you know, for what's hidden with communication is key. I feel like, you know, someone's definitely creating narratives, which is causing them a lot of anxiety and anxiousness. And it's like they are ruminating, pining, overthinking, analysis paralysis, and constantly repeating the cycle, waking up during the middle of the night. And it's because of, you know, them wanting to get something off their chest, them wanting to express or emote, but them having fears. That's why with this, how they feel about you is work through your fears. They've watched you work through yours. So perhaps you have gone through your own uh, starling metamorphosis, uh, Leo, where you may have changed. Uh, Leo is a very proud, very strong. Um, you know who you are. You, you know, you take you take lead. You know, you don't shy away from a challenge. You don't shy away uh, or back down. So this is someone that uh, may have taken a page or two from your book. And so now they are um, feeling very motivated or inspired to communicate or to express something to you. So let's tap in. So look at that. That card flew as well. On the bottom of the deck, we have uh, take time to breathe out. So that is yet again, like the deep exhale. And this says um, disseminating moon. So someone needs to express some things, get some things off of their chest or communicate something uh you know through their throat chakra because this is a blockage i feel someone is they have a blockage with their throat chakra what we have here um, is emotions are running high this is what flew out and it says super moon and so this is a, a flower moon the scorpio flower moon perhaps someone wants to come back uh very remorseful they're remorseful they have regrets they're apologetic they've been holding on to a lot of these feelings emotions leo um and that's why this is a disseminating moon because maybe this is going to encourage them to express to emote to communicate how they feel uh the full moon in scorpio was yesterday uh depending on your locality uh which was five five you know five deals with the throat chakra so i do feel like whoever this is whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting they have difficulty expressing uh, with communicating themselves uh, and with emotions are running high, I feel like this this implosion, um, whatever is 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 happening within them, um, whatever emotions are coming to the surface during this retrograde, uh, it is encouraging them to express themselves. Hence, take time to breathe out. So it's like they do have to meditate, contemplate to get something straight. And once they do get it straight, they will come towards you and they will express what they feel because they know that is the key to perhaps embarking upon um, this new uh, this new venture with you, uh, having this fresh start with you. Uh, we have Lauren Hill 
and this is when it hurts so bad so someone is definitely suffering in silence because they are not expressing themselves or communicating their truths uh, and with take time to breathe out maybe they're meditating uh, to get something straight meditating contemplating so let's see what the outcome is for my beautiful beautiful leos you get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit and so we have here don't let your past hold you back so the past could be a literal person from the past that could be trying to come back into your life uh because this is you know with a new start is coming um i do feel like spirit is like really pushing someone uh, to take that leap of faith, uh, to go after what they desire. And there may be someone uh, that may be trying to hold on to you uh, with this south node. You know, the south node deals with karma. So there could be a karmic X or there could be uh, some things that you uh, may have had to learn about yourself, um, which were karmic lessons that you had to learn. Uh, and some of those things during this retrograde could resurface, which could keep you bound and stuck in an old mindset, um, in a lack mentality, which will energetically have you stuck in a rut or have you confused and conflicted or have you super emotional um, and unable to see things clearly. Because when you are um, out of balance, when you are not grounded, you can make irrational decisions. Uh, you could be very flighty in your actions as well. So I feel the outcome here, it says show the world the real you, Leo. So this is about not wearing any masks or not uh, putting on a facade or pretending. I feel like the fears could be, you know, just whatever false expectations that you may have of yourself or of others or any type of, you know, other uh, underlying um, emotions that are causing you to uh, be a little confused and conflicted. I feel spirit is really uh, giving you some sort of clarity. Uh, the waterbender uh, which is Aquarius, uh, and we are in this Aquarius energy. We're in the age of Aquarius, which is about not only, uh, you know, the, the age of Aquarius is the age of information. And there's a siren going by. So I do feel like this is a forewarning to not get stuck and trapped in false identities. Uh, because there is, a, I'm getting a sense of a cycle repeating you know so there's a potential for someone uh, some of you leos to get caught in a cycle a vicious cycle and with that siren going off that's a forewarning so spirit is telling you forewarning you and i will everyone is safe and sound let that go by so i do feel like spirit with spirit telling you to show the world the real you i do feel like you could be uh co-creating with source right now being very um intentional about what you are calling in and what you are creating um and also trusting your intuition right now is going to also be very beneficial so if you have certain ideas that come to surface jot them down because i feel that spirit kind of like leading you on the right path um, with don't let your past hold you back. Like I said, this could be a literal person or this could just be, you know, something, some lesson you learned in the past that could potentially be coming back to test you. Uh, Mercury retrograde is really like, you know, it's a planet that appears to be going backwards, uh, which means a lot of the, you know, past circumstances that you thought you have since resolved, since learned from, uh, they, you find yourself going through those cycles all over again uh and it's just the way that spirit will test you to see if you've really learned the lesson um to see if you're really over certain things and this siren is going by so this is really a, a strong forewarning for all of you i feel like this is being um this is a forewarning because you do have an x or a karmic that could be trying to uh definitely have you on an emotional roller coaster coaster where you will be uh you know potentially repeating some sort of karmic lesson or karmic cycle and um you know that south node is all about like i said uh you know what you may have learned in the past so these are the things that are are in your rear view 
you know, the past deals with what's in your rear view, what you've dealt with, what you've already experienced. So for it to be a potential threat, which is why those sirens were going off, is because there's there's something that you need to really um, pay attention to. You have to trust your intuition. And spirit wants you to show the world the real you. Don't just go along to get along. Don't just appease and please. Don't just, you know, do things because you want to be likable. Uh, do what's really in your heart. This is a time to really change the narrative. You have to grow from your experiences, not just go through them. You're not just going through stuff. You're growing. You have to grow through them. And so when you do that, then you have prosperity, which lies ahead. And we are in this Taurus uh, energy. So the sirens keep showing up every time we speak of the past and your present. Um, so be mindful because there could be some threats to having you stuck, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, repeating a cycle. I keep hearing repeating cycles. So that's why spirit is encouraging you to work through your fears. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real, false evidence, you know, appearing real. But you have to face everything and rise. So confront your fears, confront those things that you you have a lot of um hesitancy with you know trust that those are the things you have to deal with first leos are absolutely brave strong you know you're very powerful so em embrace your power own it uh, Shay. so that is your me your reading i said me so that is your reading my beautiful leos i hope the message is resonated for you if you found that it did please be kind hit the like hit the share hit the subscribe button definitely hit the bell notification if you are new here um welcome beloveds if you are returning you already know what it is love is love is love is love thank you so much for tuning and tapping in till next time peace